Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is who's coming towards in reading for the Virgo sign. Please universe, what can I get for Virgo friends? Who's coming towards me reading for Virgo friends? What is the opportunity in love, romantic relationship, dating, connection and reconnection? For Virgo friends, please. First, uh, first card, Virgo, is the Three of Wands. You've got the Fool in upright position. You've got the Nine of, sorry, Eight of Cups. You've got the Moon card in reverse. I'm going to do a treat reading for you, Virgo. All right, one more, please. One more spread. Who's coming towards me reading for Virgo with love, romantic relationship, dating, getting to know? What is the incoming love opportunity? Connection and reconnection, please. Okay, this one to come out. Alright. So the first three card Virgo. Um you've got here three of wands. This is the fool and eight of cups. For some of you, I'm picking up this is someone from your past. Someone probably um, that promise you to someone promise you to deliver something. It could be a promise to see you, to date you, to message you, to travel um, towards you. Something that is um, a person where uh, they promise something. It could be an Aries Leo Sag, um, or you could, or it could be that you have um, met this person somewhere. And they promise to call you, they promise to see you, they plan and um, they did some, they, um, they promise to plan something for you. Um, you had um, a feeling that they'll call you back, that everything is okay. Uh, you have a feeling with this person that everything seems to be um, in a correct timing, in a plan, you know, everything is working well in terms of a plan, all right? Um, the next card is the full and upright position. For some of you, that kind of thought, it's, it's risky. For some of you, this plan that they offer you is risky, is uh, for some of you unattainable. Um, for some of you, it is a journey. It is an amazing plan, but it is impulsive, impulsive and impossible. Right? There's a bit of a um, a carefree energy with um, the fool, and it's connected to a plan. Right? So this is definitely something in your a person in your past or someone you know, someone that has that's that's is is that is ex existing already in your life um eight of cups so um it is coming as an opportunity because i felt like um they're coming as an opportunity for love connection reconnection or dating um because it could be this person they offer you a huge amount of some sort of a plan a deal a message a connection a reconnection um it's a bit risky and um, I felt like they weren't able to deliver the full plan, the pledge. That's something that they promised towards you. For some of you, they walk away or you walk away, right? Or both of you walk away because that, that deal was not done. Um, it could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But it seems to be that it is still here. It seems to be that the walking away, it's for some of you, it's a temporary so if you think of someone in the past where um, it is, um, you know, it, it's a person where um, it's a person, a situation where they promise you the world. They promise you this huge amount of blah, blah. It could be, it could only be words. It could only be verbal. Uh, but they never really mean it for some of you. For some of you, you know that it's risk and they will never be able to fulfill. So it is appearing here in the reading as, um, as an opportunity because they walk away and there seems to be um, a walking away, but they're never really disconnected. Because if you look at this person, if you look at this person, she's walking away, but 
when she walk away, there's still emotions. You know, I'm really feeling like someone walk away with fresh emotions and feelings. You know, they walk away with feelings towards you. They still feel something towards you or it could be you as well. So someone wasn't able to deliver a plan, a promise, a pledge, a message, a connection, a reconnection. They walk away. You walk away. Uh, someone gave up. But they gave up with feelings. They still have a feelings for you. And it is coming as an opportunity. All right. So um, I'm really feeling like they might still be um, in your horizon in terms of energy. There is still a possibility for you guys to connect or reconnect. Because they walk away with feelings. And express feelings. For some of you, they're a bit embarrassed because... They promised something and wasn't able to fulfill it. So they carry with them um, a feelings that is not un undelivered, unexpressed. All right. So that is first reading for you. Another reading is that um, you've got the moon in reverse. You might be dealing with a Pisces, um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and Page of Pentacles in reverse. So um, this reading... The moon in reverse it is getting clear all right you're getting you're getting an understanding that uh, this is a capricorn taurus or a virgo energy that um the person that you you're dealing right now um you know they're very clingy um or yeah they're very clingy they want you um, it's it's getting clear that this opportunity is someone that is very clingy um, or this opportunity could be someone attached um, but the issue is that they're not making a lot of effort towards you it's clear that they want to attach with you but it's not a lot of effort this is Capricorn Taurus or Virgo or this love opportunity connection reconnection I'm really feeling like it, it it's for some of you this is brand new um, this is probably um, someone at your work area, a place where um, financial institution could be bank, mortgages, something that's related to money, finances. So, yeah, there's an opportunity for you guys. It's clear. Um, but they might be clingy and um, you're not interested with them. Or um, it's clear they like you, um, but they're not available. All right? Capricorn, Taurus, Vertigo. Now, the next three cards. This is a love opportunity where um, this person, um, they it, this is a person where um, they have an ex, you know, they're, they've just divorced, separated, or they could still be in the process of getting a divorce, a separation, for some of you, they just came out of a breakup. You know, they're still healing. Um, for some of you, this is appearing to be an opportunity because they really want to, you know, they really want to make it happen for you. Two of Pentacles is juggling, you know. Um, it's it's a bit complicated with their situation right now. But they can offer you the family life, stability, really, really good, grounded, um, solid kind of commitment. The only drawback with this connection is that they are still married. They're still struggling to let go of a past. Something about a past commitment. Or it, it could be a commitment where um, this ex will never go away because they have kids. You know, this is, this, is, uh, this is a reading where you are connecting or they are reconnecting with you where they come along with baggages. They have an ex. They're still going through marriage, you know, um, processing of annulment, divorce, separation, uh, dividing property. They have other responsibility with an ex. Um, that is external. That is something that it's out of their control, and that is their responsibility. But if you ask if this person can commit to you, they can. And they can make it happen. Two of Pentacles, they, they can juggle things with their external responsibility to make it up with you, to your um, 
to um to the commitment to the relationship all right so if you try if 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 you see this reading and you've got a doubt with a person connecting to you with an ex-marriage you know this reading is saying that um this is the only downside because they have baggages um this is something that they can't just shake off or um something that they can't just complete overnight but it is in process they could give you stability all right so this is for you virgo this is a three card that this is three kinds of reading for you i hope you pick up a message here this is what's coming towards your reading i hope you enjoy it i hope you like it if you do please don't forget to click like don't forget to click subscribe and if you want to further connect with me um look at the description box below you will see all the details that you know on how to follow me on instagram facebook and how to book a private reading with me thanks guys have an amazing day bye bye